We watched him whip, we watched him nay nay, now he's whipping in heaven. Hey what's up you guys, it is Tyler, welcome back to the Tyler Williams channel, and I know what you're thinking, no, I did not die and go to heaven. <laughs> I know this background looks like it, but I did not die and go to heaven, even that it will be a good explanation for why I have not been making videos in a while. Um, no, I am, uh, making a, uh, predictions video for Money in the Bank 2017. Now, I know a lot of you probably gonna ask questions. Tyler, what is going on? Why have you not uploaded many, that many videos in a while? It's like, it seems like you're only uploading, like, once a week, twice, once every two weeks. Like, I'm not uploading on a consistent basis. Now, the reason I'm not doing that is because my laptop is currently broken right now. I wish I could show you, but I'm kind of can't right now because I'm recording this. But my laptop is broke right now, and it's on an angle, and it's just a hassle to record videos. So, I have not had the chance to actually make videos for you guys. But I, you know, it's, I have to at least try to not break my laptop and at least make one video for you guys because Money in the Bank is this weekend. I'm going to be live streaming for that because it's one of my favorite pay-per-views of all time. And yeah, I just can't miss out on a live stream for Money in the Bank. So coming to you now is a Money in the Bank predictions video from me, Tyler Williams. There's also going to be a big treat at the end of this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned to that. If you guys probably click on this video, you know I'm going to be doing a WWE Network giveaway this weekend on the, the day of Money in the Bank. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Stay tuned to the end of the video to find out details of how you can participate in that. Let's put it that way. I had the video right here, Money in the Bank 2017 predictions, the full match card. So I'm going to steal the video from Pena Mayuyoro. I probably, excuse me, I probably butchered that. I apologize, dude. But yeah, I'm going to uh, take this match card and use it as predictions. Now, mind you guys, I do not watch Raw or SmackDown because I've been work I've been working at night, so I haven't had any time to watch it live. And when I don't watch it live, I really don't go back and watch it again. So I haven't watched Raw or SmackDown that, and I just don't watch the shows in general. So I really don't know what's going on. I know bits and pieces because I like to catch up on what not what culture. What culture. I like to catch up on Wrestle Talk TV, so I do know what's going on. And the song on sounds off, so I do know what's going on. But in terms of like watching the matches and what I I don't really know, but we're gonna I'm gonna go off of my uh my gut feeling on for these predictions. Okay, let's go. Money, 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 money. It's been a, All right, so we got the first match. It is the Usos versus the New Day for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Honestly, I felt like T Brizongo should have won those championships. Um, but you have the New Day facing off. The Usos have been having a pretty good reign. And, you know, the Usos are a good tag team. I feel like whenever they're in the ring, they always are tearing up the house and putting on good matches. They could put on good matches with just about any tag team they're in the ring with. So, I am going to go with the Usos only because the New Day, this is their first tag team championship match on SmackDown. They really don't need it, honestly. And I feel like Brazongo still should win it. I'm rooting for them to win it at SummerSlam. So if that's the case, the Usos keep it. Okay. As much as I love Lana, why is she getting a championship match in her first ever match? I don't know. I don't really understand that logic. I mean, I know, I, I, I know, I get it. They want to make Lana a big deal for the SmackDown Women's Division, but no one has ever seen her. No one who has been an NXT live event. None of us have seen her wrestle before. None of us know what she's capable of. And just to have her handed a championship match after Shane McMahon even said himself, SmackDown championship matches have to be earned and not given. Then he gives her a championship match. Like. But anyways, I'm going to go with Naomi. I really don't think it's a smart idea to give Lana the championship on her first match. That would just, that doesn't sound right to me. I'm going to go with Naomi. I don't know who she's going to drop the title to exactly, but I'm going to go with Naomi. You can tell I haven't recorded a video in a while because I'm like, I'm like, oh, what do I say? <laughs> I must say this year alone and part of 2016, the Divas Revolution 
from one called the women's revolution the women's revolution in wrestling has definitely stepped their game up we've seen not only a woman's Hell in a cell match but a woman's steel cage match we've seen a woman's false count anywhere match we've seen a woman's iron man match we've seen a woman's extreme rules match and now we're seeing a woman's money in the bank match and this is just exciting to me because, as you guys know, Money in the Bank is one of my all-time favorite match stipulations in wrestling. And seeing the woman take on this uh, challenge is going to be interesting. Now, I'm not expecting them to do dives off a ladder, even though I, see, I can see Charlotte do the moose off the ladder. I'm not expecting them to do a bunch of crazy spots like the men do, but I am looking forward to this match. Now, in terms of who's going to win the match... I personally, and I know a lot of people might disagree with this, I want Tamita to win. Only because Tamita has not really accomplished much of anything in her whole career. She's been in storylines, she's been in plenty of matches, but she's never accomplished anything. And she's always been the background character in terms of Raw, SmackDown, or any, any anything she's been in. And I think this would be a good time for her to actually win something. And her, her actually means something to the roster. I mean, Natalia's had her time, Becky's had her time, uh, Charlotte's had her time, even though her time is still now, of course. It's not like John Cena there. And Carmella, she hasn't had her time yet, but you know, she's still young. She can wait. Tamina, she's been here for years, and she's not getting any younger. I feel like this is a good time for Tamina to win. Now, who I think will win, probably going to be Charlotte. That's a safe bet, because, you know, it's Charlotte. They pretty much have Charlotte win everything nowadays. Safe bet to go with is either Charlotte or Camella, but I honestly want Tamina to win this. Rooting for her, don't see her winning it, but I'm definitely rooting for her. So we got Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Now, ah, I don't think I can stress this enough how much I... It's not that I don't like Randy Orton, because I like Randy Orton as a wrestler. But whenever he steps into the ring, I'm just like... Like, Randy Orton doesn't light my world on fire as much as he does everyone else. And maybe it's because he's a babyface and I've never been a fan of babyface Randy Orton. Like, never. But, just seeing Randy Orton in a WWE Championship match is just, just annoys me. Jinder Mahal having a WWE Championship. I'm still back, I'm still backing the Maharaja. And hopefully he could keep that championship until SummerSlam. If Randy wins it back, that's going to be really sad. Really depressing. So, I see Jinder Mahal being Randy Orton again. Maybe not clean, but maybe with the help of the Bollywood boys. Or what are their names? Something Sing? Something Sing? I'm going to call them the Bollywood boys because that's what they originally were. But, I'm going to go with Jinder Mahal. May I say, that is the ugliest looking Money in the Bank briefcase I've ever seen. Now, I know what this, the original SmackDown Money in the Bank briefcase looks like. Why couldn't I just bring that back? I'm not entirely sure. I think it's an ugly shade of blue. <laughs> Honestly. And I just, I just hate that Monday Big face. Why couldn't they just use the gold one? What was wrong with the gold one? I mean, I get that the gold one represented both brands. But there was absolutely nothing wrong with the gold one. And the gold one looks awesome. So, they should have won with that one. But nonetheless, we're, get, we're dealt with this one. And we're dealt with this hand. All the guys in this match are capable of winning it. I'm not saying any of them, except for Dolph Ziggler, is not capable of winning it. But we got AJ Styles, Dolph Ziggler, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. Baron Corbin, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Now, Shinsuke Nakamura was the last person posing with the Money in the Bank briefcase on SmackDown Live, and for that reason, I don't think he's winning it. Uh, so that leaves us with AJ, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, and Baron Corbin. I'm not even counting Dolph Ziggler because he's just so far gone in his WWE career. It's not even funny. Um, Kevin Owens isn't winning it because he's the United States champion. It really, he doesn't need it. He's already been Universal Champion. He's the current United States Champion. He doesn't need it. So that leaves us with AJ, Sammy, and Baron Corbin. I don't think AJ really needs it either. It'll be nice to see him win it. So, you know, possibly win back the WWE Championship because I've always been on board with AJ Styles being WWE Champion. But I don't. I just don't see him winning it. So that leaves us with Sami Zayn and Baron Corbin. And honestly, I've never been one to think of a baby face ever holding a championship. Because when you think of Money in the Bank, you think of someone having the ability to cash in whenever they want. And as much as you like to think that, yeah, they're just using their opportunity to their fullest, that's kind of a cowardly move. You know, you're cashing in when someone's down, when someone's broken, when someone 
You're not going to man while he's down when you think about it that way. If you cash in when someone is at their lowest point, which is basically every cash that's happened before, that's a cowardly move. So, i had never really seen a baby face ever holding a championship. Dean Ambrose kind of got away with it. Because he was crazy. But, I just don't see Sami Zayn ever really... I don't really see Sami Zayn being the guy to win the championship. Being a guy to win the briefcase. Because of his character. I actually know. His character actually makes sense to win it. But I'm going to go with Baron Corbin. I think Baron Corbin, honestly, should win Money in the Bank. Because I think they're building up his... They've been building up his character for a while now. He's due for a really big win. He hasn't won any championships yet. And I think he, I think he's due for a, a big win. And that big win will come in, a, come in the form of Money in the Bank. And later in the WWE Championship. Now, if I had to go with a second person to choose, I probably would go with... Probably would go with Sami Zayn. Probably would go with Sami Zayn. I think it's between Sami Zayn and Baron Corbin, honestly. Everyone else, except for Nakamura, doesn't really need it. Nakamura does need it, but like I said, the fact that he posed with the Money in the briefcase at the end of the show on SmackDown Live has me believing he's not going to win it. But like I said, anyone in this match is capable of winning it. I won't be mad if any of them win. Dolph Ziggler winning it, however. I will be confused. I won't be mad if he wins. But nonetheless, anyone winning this match, I'll be happy. So that was my uh, predictions for Money in the Bank. And as I said, um, I'm going to be doing a WWE Network gift card giveaway on Money in the Bank. The Money in the Bank live stream will be doing. Yes, I am not working Sunday. I usually work like almost every day of the week. But I am off on Sunday, so I'm not going to be working that day. I will be streaming and watching Money in the Bank live. Will it be with Darren? Not entirely sure yet. But nonetheless, I will be giving away two money WWE Network gift cards during the show. So the only way you can win is to tune into that live stream and keep that comment section going. I'll be checking it periodically. You know, let people know. You watch this live stream, you can win a WWE Network gift card, which you can watch pay-per-views for free and watch all the free content at the expense of myself. So once again, this Sunday, Money the Bank, WWE Network gift card. Make sure you tune into that live stream. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace out.